Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how good the Int LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku does in the Merge Zamasu or Corrupted Zamasu uh, Red Zone stage. So basically, this is probably one of the toughest stages, if not one of the other, you know, three or four toughest stages in the games. And basically, it's one of the best ways to measure just how good. Uh, in LISS4 Goku actually does. Now it's super important to mention firstly his team. So we're running a double int Goku leader skill. Obviously that means GT heroes in full power. I think he benefits a lot from the fact that World Tournament Goku, uh, Carnival Goku and the superhero Piccolo and Gohan uh, are all what I would consider you know full power characters well they're they obviously all under full power and i think that really flushes out his team you're not heavily reliant on gt heroes which is still in a bit of a weird space and so that gives him a pretty good foundation to build a pretty strong team now goku himself starts out with 20 percent damage reduction the big portion of his damage reduction actually comes from basically when he's the first attacker but if the enemy is attacking before he attacks, then there is an attack he has to actually take uh, from the enemy before he gets kicked in as the first attacker. So there is an opportunity for him to take a fair chunk of damage. Uh, it's something we can't really control too much. It is something that you know, is relatively difficult to actually kind of keep under wraps because of the nature of his passive. So you'll notice there's quite a big difference defensively between a 100% unit or a unit with dupes comparative to a unit with 55%, especially considering Goku, your know, gains attack and defense based on his positioning and also obviously getting hit as well. So there is some uh, kind of mechanisms that he kind of needs to engage to be a ridiculously good unit. Uh, obviously yeah, his stamina skill is pretty awesome uh, also fairly easy to get, which is also why it's something that's quite good. I think you only have to receive five attacks to get his standby skill. And during the standby skill phase, I mean, Oob, you know, Oob can't die at all, which is super duper powerful. He also, once it ends, you can opt for the 30% heal and no transformation, or you can get enough orbs steady, which is pretty decent, and you can exchange the entire thing. Um, and essentially get the transformation into full power SS4 Goku. Now full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is really really good. Um, basically he's like just a super augmented version of the SS4 Goku. So the SS4 Goku is really really good. If he's like an 8.5 out of 10 then the full power Goku is like a 12 out of 10. Yeah, he's got the damage because he's got the crit, the guaranteed crits, the crit chance for a couple turns, the guard, the heal. Uh, he also obviously, you know, has like the damage reduction thing and some more damage reduction kicking in when he's first attacker, etc. But the extra 5% that he does get helps him out a lot. And he still continues to stack defense for four turns, which is pretty important that, you know, the stacking defense for four turns. It's pretty big, especially if you build them into you know, additionals to take advantage of the crit and everything. And then Goku can be really, really nuts. Uh, I think for me personally, Goku's in a very, very good space as a unit. Uh, and I think he can pretty much dominate like any content. Like I feel like he's going to be pretty good in pretty much everything, um, which is you know, obviously quite valid. I think he's quite new on obviously global having just come out then obviously he was pretty good at the Tanabata in JP so yeah I would definitely say that you know Goku is probably going to be a crucial element to beating a lot of future hard stages for people he's just that good and his team is honestly not so bad the thing is is you do want to prioritize obviously him getting his full power SS4 form I wouldn't say there's any crazy links that you need to prioritize for him. If you can, try and run some unit that can activate the sand roll, if possible, because obviously sand roll is quite a crucial technique. It is quite a big link in terms of attack and defense and everything. 
There is some good merit in Link living here as well, uh, which is obviously super duper helpful. But yeah, I would say overall, uh, Goku, you know, for me at least, he exists in a good space. Um, he does some really, really, really crazy damage. And I think it's appreciated, you know, I think for me, Goku's damage output is really, really good. I think his consistency is also something that I quite enjoy. And yeah, I think overall is really solid. Obviously, there's quite a big uh, type disadvantage to the faces when he is taking on Zamasu. So for him to yeah, tank anything or you know to absorb super attacks or anything like that uh, is pretty impressive. Uh, remember, this unit hits pretty hard, so him being able to you know do good damage and tank normals and do quite a bit of these things is very impressive. I think it shows that he's got a very high level of defense, but he also has an incredibly high level of, you know, offensive output as well, because he has those crits, because he's got all those mechanisms to enable him to do damage. I think it's good stuff. Obviously for me, um, you know, if there is one thing I would say, Especially if you bring two of them, you can't run two standby skills at the same time. You obviously have to have, well, you can't run their two standby skills at the same time. Obviously, you have to have some kind of mechanism to essentially, you know, how can I say, like have them both take five hits, but then also subsequently survive and then have them activate their standbys. So either you link them together, or you bring two partners to link with them, or you float the one. You are just going to have to do that, but it's not a big deal. To have two incredibly strong units on your team is never that big an issue. And like I said, using both of the you know, standby skills is not a major train smash, um, at least for me. It doesn't feel like something that's a big problem. So yeah, overall great. I mean, you can see him here, no item. Tanking, do his, doing his business, uh, fantastic attack stat. He's going to you know, shuck out a huge attack number here, really cause some big damage. Um, additionals obviously would have been great, or well, yeah, additional supers. But yeah, um, honestly, really, really good stuff. I would say pairing up two of them is a pretty good call. Uh, it's just super attacks will catch out um, you know, the second one quite a bit, like you will get caught by super attacks just due to the you know time disadvantage mechanic and multiplier and everything so just keep that in mind otherwise yeah you should be fine and yeah but that's it for me i'll see you guys in the next one bye